Congratulations on completing the last exercise and on generating a regular grid of points. Let's briefly revise how you did this and recall why we are solving this particular problem. When you viewed the code that was generated by Blockly, you should have seen that it looked something like the code shown at the bottom right of this slide. As I explained in the last video, we have a double loop here in which the inner loop runs over the midpoint of each of the rows in the cell in the grid. And then the outer loop runs over each of the rows in the grid. By having this nested structure of loops, we are thus able to run over all 36 of the grid points of interest. Let's now recall the problem that we ultimately want to solve by generating this grid of points. We want to calculate the integral under the curve shown here. Numerically, and as discussed in the first video, we are going to do a three-step process to, in order to do this. The first step of this process will involve drawing a regular grid of squares underneath our graph as shown here. The second step will involve determining whether the midpoint of each of our grid points are under the curve or not. And then the last step will involve counting the number of squares whose midpoints are under the curve and multiplying this count n in by the area of those individual squares. As is clear from this diagram, this will give us an approximate value for the integral. We have in the previous exercise worked out how to generate the grid of points, so in terms of implementing this algorithm, what we now need to do is to work out how to determine if each of the points in the grid that we now know how to generate lies under the curve of interest or not. In the next task, you are thus going to be asked to generate the grid again. Now, however, rather than plotting all the points on the grid, you should only plot those points that are on the grid and that are within a circle of radius 1 that is centred on the origin. You thus need to ask yourself, how can you determine if the grid point you've generated is within one unit of the origin of the graph? Good luck.